Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I've been waiting to do that video for a very long time. Today, we're finally going to see how you can stream a porn cloud from Amazon Cloud into Revit. First, what I'll do is obviously open a project and then I will go right here on the right. I have a streaming button, I'll just click on this and it will open this window. Now this window, will, will, what it will allow me to do is select the porn cloud that I wish to stream. So I'll just select that one and then select the software. At the time that this video was made, there was only Revit and old plan. And of course, today we're going to be talking about Revit. So I'll just click on it. And then you just have to generate a code. The code has been generated and automatically copied to your clipboard. So now all you have to do is open Revit. We're now on Revit and I'm going to open the Addis.cloud plugin. To install the plugin, check out the link in the description. You will find the link to the article that corresponds to this video. And there you will find the link to download and install the plugin. So once the plugin is installed, you can reopen Revit and then go onto here. So you'll find all of the options that we have. And the first thing you want to do is add a point cloud. So just click on this and then click on the pass button right here to pass the code that you have in your clipboard. So that's the code that was copied just before in Addis. Then you can select the dimension. So by default, it's going to be color. So that means the RGB actual color of the point cloud. But if you don't have it, or if you want to see another dimension, you can select intensity, classification, height, or the point source ID, for example. In our case, let's stick with color as it's the most relevant. Then I click on stream point cloud, which will open this window. And now I can select the position. So either I can select center to center, or I can select the internal origin or at the shared side. These are regular Revit options. Select the one that suits your project the most. Here you'll find the spacing option, which is basically a decimation. So if you go on max, that's going to stream all of the points. Now, if you don't need to stream all of the points, you can decimate the point cloud on the fly. So the stream will only stream part of it and not all of it. So you can really decide what you want. In my case, I'll go with max to show you what it looks like. Finally, if you wish to save or retrieve the position of your point cloud from a Revit file, you can just check this and then you'll click on add to Revit. After just two seconds, you can just go on here and set up your project. Here you can see it has started to load. So I'll just select this and put my floors correctly. So now I have my point cloud that is going to load as I move around. Okay, every time I move, it's going to load the portion that I'm looking at and it's going to unload the rest. And then if I freeze, it's going to load what I'm seeing. It's more or less the same system as we have on Addis.cloud when it comes to loading the point cloud. All right, let's get into the floor plan. So now I see a cut of my point cloud. And obviously, once more, it is going to load where I am uh, in priority. From now on, I can use Revit just like if I had an RCP onto my computer. But the point cloud is actually streamed from Addis.cloud, so you don't even have to have a local file to be able to work on it. Up there, by the Add Point Cloud option, you'll find the Point Cloud Manager. Here you'll find the list of all the Point Clouds you're currently streaming. In our case, we only have one, and we can select it. We have its status, so valid, that means that it's still streaming, and if I move around, it's still gonna be loading uh, parts that, that I need, and, and so on. We have the name of it, the dimension that it's currently using, and the position that we selected when we loaded it. The dimension can be changed afterwards. You can change the positioning system if you wish to and the spacing on the fly if you decide that you don't need all the points at the end. Let's go back to max and now it will load everything back. You can display on and off the point cloud if you wish to only see your model that you're currently creating, for example. And you can show and hide the 360 positions. So if I enable this, it's going to take a few seconds for the scan positions to load. Right here, you can see now I have little icons, literally scan heads that have spawned into my project. And so now what happens if I go right here and say bubble selection and then click on one of these scans? You can see that in Addis.cloud, without doing anything, I have been moved into the image, right? So I'm currently on my other screen selecting another position in Revit. If I click on it, I've moved automatically. I didn't do anything and it just moved me on its own. Okay, so that's going to allow you by clicking into Revit to see with the actual image where you're at and what you're actually modelizing. The 360 images will enable you to have a bit of vision of what you're currently creating in Revit. Here in the settings, you will be able to change the GPU memory that you're currently using and the disk space that you use for Revit because there is a cache system that will allow us 
to load the points quicker. So that means that once an area has been loaded once, it is then saved onto your computer in cache, and so that when you come back to it, it doesn't have to stream it again from Edis.cloud, you can just take it from the cache and then make a mix between what is cached onto your computer and what is streamed from the cloud. Finally, if you go in the about, that's where you'll know what version of the plugin you're currently using. So right now, as I'm making this video, it is version 2.0.4 of the plugin. This information can be really important if you're communicating with the Addis.cloud support team. They might request to know what version you're currently using to make sure that you're up to date with the latest version and the latest features.